Hello everybody, this is Daryl Passing Lane Motors and I'm really excited today to show you the undercarriage of our 1972 Nova. This Nova is a true rally sport Nova. It's painted in an orange motif, the hugger orange motif. The car also uh, looks fantastic. The body on it is really super nice and straight. The inside of it's done real well. I have another walk around video where we show the car, uh, how, the, how the inside was done. It's been pro streeted. It is set up the drag race if somebody wanted to. I don't think that this car has ever actually been on the track, uh, but it looks fantastic. A little bit about the car. It's got a 496 Dart Pro Comp 1 engine in it. Turbo 400 with a reverse valve body has a 12 volt posi with Auburn gears and Mosier axles. It also sports hard pan rods, ladder bars, and the undercarriage and subframe connectors are beautiful. Car does have disc brakes on the front. It is manual brakes and manual steering car, but the car is easy to drive and it stops super. The tires all the way around are in great shape. The chrome is in great shape on this car. The interior is beautiful and uh, the car is basically very fun, very fast, and really affordable. Comes with probably in the neighborhoods, and I don't have the exact number, but just adding them up in my head, 30 plus thousand dollars worth of receipts with the car, has everything that's been done to it. So let's go ahead, we'll start, we'll get up in here a little closer and uh, show you the, the uh, bumpers on the car, just really how pretty that all of the chrome is on this piece it has really nice chrome all the way around it the headlights the grill um, so I mean as far as the chrome goes on the front it's absolutely outstanding car we'll move in over here on the uh, wheels it does have a set of beautiful torque thrust wheels it is has the legal uh, studs in the in the drums or in the rotors in this case so that you could actually drag race you can see it does have a big rotor up front uh, for great stopping power it is a manual brake car but it does stop really easy with those disc brakes so we get underneath here you can see the bottom side there's no leaks on the car the transmission lines which are right in here hang on let's see if i can get the camera pointed in the right spot these blue lines right here these braided hoses, these are the transmission cooling lines. Uh, the car does have a high-end harmonic balancer on it. It is an aftermarket harmonic. It probably came with the engine, which is right in there. Uh, the A-arms and A-arm bushings all seem to have been re, uh, redone. So it has really nice A-arms. The A-arm bushings has coilover shocks in the front and front sway bar. You can see the backing plates on the disc brakes then you notice here underneath the car just how clean it is uh, the upper and lower ball joints have been replaced and are greasable um, you can see the heavy-duty springs of course you'd need heavy-duty springs to support this big block uh, all the suspension has been redone underneath this car as we move up underneath here uh, you can see the oil pan it has a high volume oil pan in it uh, the tie rods, drag links, all the outer tie rod ends are all new. All of the, uh, the bushings have been replaced. Uh, underneath here, you'll see the transmission. It does have a turbo 400 with a reverse valve body. Uh, this wiring and stuff that you notice right up in here, this is all the stuff for the racing suspension, or the racing uh, uh, the electronics that are with this car. There are... Uh, receipts and stuff to go with that i don't know anything about how all of it works matter of fact i don't think it's actually hooked up right this minute but it's all here if somebody wanted to plug it in and use it i believe it's got launch control and time and i do know that there's a fuel regulator on it uh, and we'll show you that here in a minute because it's got aromatic uh, fuel system over twenty five hundred dollars worth of just fuel system stuff in this car as we move over here this is where the subframe connectors are welded in, right in this area right here. What a super nice job. They actually had a professional welder do this. Um, I don't even know if you can see by this video just how absolutely gorgeous these pans are. Uh, 
no undercoating under here all of the pans are super solid they look like they're brand new in the whole car and if you'll notice the exhaust and this is all this uh, framing here it has the loops around the drive shaft uh, all of the framing underneath here for the subframe connectors three inch exhaust all the way down the car mandrel bent to what a nice job on this uh, the exhaust does just go back to flow masters um, this right here is the back part of where the ladder bars come into and this is welded into the subframe connectors which go all the way across and this is about an inch and a half diameter bar which goes around where the drive shafts at as we move back to the back you can see that the ladder bars have been welded in to the axle the exhaust does dump out right here in front of the axle it is flow masters and then up here where the frame is at um, fuel line return really solid i mean this frame looks like it's brand new um, all these all this bracketry everything has been welded on really clean the pinch welds in the original part of the car are still in great shape uh, looks like right in here uh, maybe a little bit of work done but man this all seems to be metal in this whole car don't look like they've taken and bonded up a, a car let's move back here towards the rear now right here is where the gas tank would have been but now it has a, a sumped fuel cell in the car you can also see all of the uh, aeromotive excuse me it's not aromatic it's aeromotive the fuel pump which is up in that corner also the fuel filter uh, the braided lines all the heat coated lines right in here Th this underneath here is just absolutely gorgeous what a great job on where the where the tank sat um, it's just absolutely beautiful you can move back here this is 12 bolt posi like I said, it has Auburn gears in it with Mosier axles. It has coilovers up underneath here. This is where your ladder bars hook in to the uh, rear end. And this little flat piece of steel right here that's welded onto the bottom of the car, that's for the wheelie bars. Uh, the car does, currently doesn't have wheelie bars on it, and they don't come with the car either. But should you want to get a set, the car's already set up for it. Here's your hard pan rod that runs between the ladder bars that keep everything in check and square. And if you'll look up to where the shocks go up to the top, that's extra support all the way across the car right there. Uh, added support welded into the frame. All this is welded in. It's all done by a professional welder. They did an awesome job. Uh, we'll go ahead and take you down this side of the car. You can see that the underside of this car is just absolutely phenomenal. It's clean as can be. The car is gorgeous. Uh, the headers come back to a 3-inch collector and are 3-inch all the way back. Uh, this was a factory 4-speed car at one time. The pedals are still in, in the car. Uh, it's now got a turbo 400. So, this is Daryl Passing Lane Motors. This is a 1972 Nova. 496 Dart Pro Comp engine. Turbo 400, 12 bolt posi, front disc brakes, beautiful chrome all the way around. The body on the car is super nice and straight. All the pinch welds on the car are beautiful. Please give us a call, 636-600-1140. We are in Fenton, Missouri, just southwest of St. Louis. We would love to help put this car in your garage. Give us a call, 636-600-1140, Pro Streeted. Big Block Rally Sport Nova. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye now.